Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man out at the field with the VT Bird and what I've got today is the new CEA8 mini gimbal camera currently mounted on the top that I'm hoping is going to get me some really gorgeous video. Let's see what happens. Not only is the plane running three cameras for this flight, this is the first VT Bird fully autonomous flight and uh, it's really fun to watch the plane take off as you can see in auto mode after the throttle armed and I fly this entire flight completely hands-free so uh, you've got three different camera views this one's the A8 mini mounted on the bottom and we've got the HD0 goggle view with the um, heads-up display and also I've got a thumb Runcam Thumb Pro mounted on the tail and that's then I've run uh, telemetry overlay on that to put some telemetry on. So here we have our transition into forward flight up to overnight 80 kilometers an hour settles back to so easily transition no problem at all with the transition uh, settles back to regular forward flight spins around to I think that's the second waypoint and now the third waypoint is a little spin left and heads north uh, this is the telemetry view with the Runcam Thumb Pro and as you can see it's a beautiful day absolutely glorious sky such a such a nice video this is completely unstabilized video from uh, I didn't need to use uh, uh, gyro flow on that at all here we have the HD zero video showing the H the the heads up display there's something funny going on at the top with the waypoint um, there was a setting where I had one of the voltage settings just um, you know I dragged it on the mission planner and it didn't end up where it was supposed to be I fixed that since so now we head down towards the river and we've got our view here we're sticking it around 50 meters high and it it's very very stable at 50 meters so this is really nicely tuned this plane now I'm very very happy with it it's so fun to fly but it's also fun to watch you just do this all auto autonomously this is completely autonomous I haven't touched it once as it turns nicely and smoothly around and heads across again towards the east and back over towards that side of the field where we're just going to head north and then come back in for a landing and, um, and you can see that uh, you know we're doing around 60 kilometers an hour um, so it's around about 18 meters per second I believe and here we go we come back in towards the lake that's just to the north of the flying field and uh, beautiful sunset that day glorious clear blue sky this was just after the first snowfall so you can still see some of the leftover um, wheat from the field from the harvest still showing through the first snow had a lot more snow since then so now we're going to come in we're going to transition to back to vertical flight very soon uh, it's again totally autonomous it's going to hit that waypoint here we go you can see the front motors start to tilt up they're fully tilted now and we're going to start coming down uh, we're dropping from 50 meters slowly and steadily we've still got that slight oscillation on the yaw uh, some of the guys on the autopilot dev team have given me some suggestions about how I can improve that I haven't had a chance to fly this plane again since then actually because I've been doing some other things but I uh, hopefully I can I can tune that yaw down as you can see the the, the front motors are, are sort of twisting slightly backwards and forwards with that yaw so it's it's something to do with how the uh, autopilot is set up and not quite tuned right and there we go zero meters land final start here we have the a8 mini which is a beautiful clear shot the camera from underneath and this one is the run cam thumb pro mounted on the tail with our telemetry view and you can see that the paths on the top and the bottom right that show that we executed that mission just absolutely perfectly. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.